Hey everybody, Pokemon Trainer Solar coming to you guys with another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle video. In this episode, we'll be using a full Paladins theme team from the game Paladins, Champions of the Realm. So we have Eevee the Hatterene with Assault Vest, Genos the Keldeo with Choice Scarf, Octavia the Inteleon with Expert Belt, Rom the Tauros with Life Orb, Ceres the Dusclops with Eviolite, and Koga the Aselgor with Focus Sash. Now, to go over their moves. Now, Eevee does have Trick Room, because she's my uh, Trick Room one, but she's not going to be relying on that. She's going to be going for Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Mystical Fire. We have Hydro Pump, Secret Sword, yeah, Secret Sword, Air Slash, Calm Mind. We have Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, U-Turn, Double Edge, Wild Charge, Earthquake, Throat Chop, Nightshade, Will-O-Wisp, Haze, Pain Split, and Bug Buzz, Focus Blast, Sludge Bomb, Spikes. And I believe this guy's actually... No, this is my offensive one. Can't have my items stolen. So, actually, I don't want Choice Scarf on you. Now that I'm, like, going over it, I really don't want Choice Scarf. So, we'll just put on... Do, 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 do. And let's see here. We'll go with... We'll go with another life form. So, I'll see you guys for the battle. See you in a bit. Okay. Our first battle is against Ioe, who actually wanted to battle... Like, legitimately, con like, contacted me to battle. And this man brought an egg. An egg. And, oh, we finally get this arena. The Discord. Oh, man. Okay, Genos, we got this. This is actually the one I caught from Sword and Shield. That's why it has a nickname. So don't worry, it's not hacked. It's the one that you get after you get all three of the uh, dudes from the... Um, what you call it? Well, I guess you get him from the crown tension. Oh man, grassy glide out speeds. Obviously, but I haven't faced one in ages. I haven't faced a grassy glide one in so long. Um, who do I have to hate you? I'm gonna go for Koga. I think Koga can do this. I don't remember if Koga's my shiny or not. I know I looked over the team at the beginning, but. I don't remember that easily. Well, Bug Buzz is super effective and stab, so we'll go for it. Well, he obviously outspeed because we're a Selgor, so yeah, go Bug Buzz. I don't hit hard, that's the thing. And I went for U-Turn. Whoa! A Selgor is frail beyond belief, that's for sure. Man, that thing hits like a truck. Uh, this must be Spectre. Great. My favorite Pokemon to see is this thing, right? Let's just go for the poison on it. We'll see if we can actually poison it. So go Sludge Bomb. Poison it, please. Nope. Wait, it went for Double Edge. On a special Ghost Pokemon? Okay. You're just gonna boost your special attack, not your attack. It's the thing is, it's not like Beast Boost where it picks your highest stat, other than HP, obviously. But yeah, okay, Mr. Ghost Boy. Um. Oh, I have Throat Chop. Throat Chop. I do have Intimidate. So go Rom. I'm playing this like an idiot because I wasn't expecting him to only bring these Pokemon, but whatever. Anyways, throat chop it. Cut it down. What are you gonna do to my super powerful bull? He has the power of Bolshevik. Okay, no, not really. Bolshevik isn't a power at all. He's gonna return him and send out Incineroar. Meow. Wait, he's level 75 and is, um,. Blaze, not... Okay. I outspeed you... Alrighty. I do have the Earthquake for this, though. And I should outspeed, right? I'm faster than him. Yep, yeah, Earthquake. Go! That survived... Oh, because of Grassy Terrain. Yeah, I forgot. Should've just went for Double Edge, but I didn't want to take the recoil. But he's gonna die to himself anyway. Even if he does take me out. Which he didn't. 
Goodbye, Incineroar, randomly at level 75. And give me back my health. Delicious, nutritious health. There goes his grassy terrain. Which means he's probably going to send out Rillaboom to go for the grassy glide, honestly. That way he can get up the... Yep. Yeah. Get up the terrain again. Which benefits all of my Pokemon, by the way. I don't have one that has Levitate or is Flying type. So... That is good for me. Not so good for him, though. Anyways, we'll just go for the double edge. Here comes the grassy glide. Too bad I don't have sap zipper like uh, Miltank can get. Oh, he didn't actually go for it. Well, there, we tackled him with our bull. Now we're going to take a lot of recoil damage from our attack and from life orb, but we'll heal back up to yellow. Thanks to his grassy terrain. Oh, my knuckles are stiff. And the new Pokemon Snap game is fun and all, but like honestly, I feel like it's stale and Iyer taste. Le is it Leer taste or Iyer taste? Regardless, here comes the earthquake. I know grassy terrain's up, but it's super effective. Wow, he's level 65 and survived that. That's insane. Don't go for Eterna Beam. Okay, good. I'm like, I swear, if I see another one, go for Eterna Beam. That's ridiculous. Ah. My bull just got blown into the nether. Poor little pal. What did he ever do to deserve that? All he ever did was love you. Mm. I'm going to send out Octavia now. Go, Octavia the sniper. Oh yeah. Now am I G-Max? No, I'm not G-Max. So no point at G-Maxing. Catch this ice beam. Pew! And there goes Eternatus. All that's left is Spectre, which I'm pretty sure we can blow away. Hacked Pokemon, man. They do you so good when you don't change their move pools around, right? Dude, snap your finger and go for the Dark Pulse. No, actually, you just point your finger. Point your finger and use Dark Pulse. Come on, buddy. Point. Click. Boom. And there we have it. That is our first battle, guys. So, you know, with that, I'll just meet you guys at the next battle. That was a uh, kind of an uneventful battle. He did good, though. He took down three of my Pokemon, considering. Alrighty. Our second battle is against Piggy King. And Piggy King brought... Actually, a solid team. No Ubers, no Zacians, no Eternatuses, no Eggs, no anything like that. No, we got the Fairy Gym and the blank, the once well trained Mew. Alrighty, so I'm gonna send out Ceres, my Dusclops. Now, what do you have for an item? Oh, wait, no, I have pressure. This is my pressure one, not my Frisk one. I apologize. I'm just gonna go for the Pain, or the Pain Split, the Nightshade. Oh, Phantom Force. Alrighty, you know what makes that really easy? I have a normal type on my team. I can just switch into my normal type. So go. Return, Ceres. Go wrong. Well, its attack fell even though it was behind. <laughs> even though it was like in a different dimension going for its ghostly attacks. Oh, I outspeed and went, hit him with the throat chop. I actually did good. Psychic. Why do you have Phantom Force and Psychic? They're two different uh, um, attributes. Like one's special and one's physical. Are you a mixed one? That's pretty interesting since you are. But still. Should have swapped up the move. Because they're going to withdraw knowing I went for a dark type attack. Um, except they went into Victini. Which is also a Psychic type. So I don't understand that choice. Yeah. It did the same. You can tell they have the same defenses. They're both offensive versions of them. Because remember, most mythicals have the same stats. Like Shaman, Victini, Jirachi, Mew. All those guys do. And there goes Victini. Goodbye, Victini. I love its cry. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, I actually lived. 
Now, which Pokemon do you want to come in and take a hit? Volcanion. That's another sweet Pokemon. And luckily, none of these look hacked, so... Which one does more? Earthquake. It doesn't have an air balloon, so... I can do some solid damage. And Mew, surprisingly enough, even though it floats, its only ability is Synchronize. Which causes, you know, status ailments to switch over. And that did a lot more to you. You can tell, like, his stats aren't as balanced as other Pokemon. Mythical stopped doing that and went for Steam Eruption. Okay, so I just need to go for something that has a super effective move that outspeeds. Or, you know, just switch into Genos. Go Genos! Man, we have a bunch of Mythicals. I'm gonna go for a Calm Mind. It's literally a special attacker. Like, usually. And it's probably gonna switch out, because I'm pretty sure you don't wanna lose your Volcanion. Yeah, Volcanion's cool. My favorite Mythical, by the way. And something the Galar Champion. Mimic the Galar Champion. Okay. I went for the Calm Mind. Cool. Now my horse is even more powerful. Is it a horse? Or is it, like, um, a deer? Oh god, I have no accurate moves. That's the issue with this Pokemon. It's very... Uh, most Mythicals actually use a lot of um, moves that aren't very accurate. So there goes this Disguise. It's going to take a wee bit of damage. I believe 1 8th or 1 16th. It's 1 8th of their HP. Same as uh, regular Poison. Play rough. That's going to kill me, but whatever. Oh, I lived. Oh, it's leftover. It's cool. It's probably just going to go for the Shadow Sneak. Not much I can do about that. I don't really want to switch into Shadow Sneak. Oh, no, it didn't go for Shadow Sneak. So here comes the Hydro Pump. I wonder if that'll one-shot it. Yes, it did. Mimikyu's down. I think we're down, too. Oh, no, we're not quite down. I thought the thing was going to go for Shadow Sneak. Mine usually is... uh. Swords Dance, Play Rough, Shadow Sneak, Shadow Claw. Usually, it's kind of a one-trick pony, but still, and my earphone keeps falling out of my ear, which makes listening to the gameplay hard. But the game is also so loud, too, so I think the vibrations cause it to fall out of my ear. And it's a pain in the booty. Oh, Volcanion again. Hi, Volcanion. How are you, buddy? I can go for Secret Sword and see what its animation looks like this generation. I have yet to use it, because this is Keldeo's version. That's actually not very cool. But goodbye, Vulcanian. And Genos is down too. Oh man, I couldn't ascend to the heavens. I fainted before that could happen. Now they have Mew left and stuff, so I'm gonna send out Koga. I think Koga would be a good enough swap in, right? Go, Koga. Squishy. Oh. I swear, you better not be, um... Power Construct. God, Power Construct would be annoying. Bug Buzz. Was well, it two hit KO? How? Oh, it was a crit. Core Enforcer. I haven't seen that this generation either. Ow. Oh, that's the one that suppresses my ability. Which is Sticky Hold. I really don't care about Sticky Hold. It's just so Trick doesn't work, but they don't have a Trick user, unless Mew was their Trick user, which very well could have been, but... Alrighty then, this guy is uh, a little bit beefy. He's not fast, he's beefy, but that's about it. So here comes the Bug Buzz. And here comes the Corn Forcer again. I could have swapped into Hatterene though, because it's a Dragon-type attack. Oh, Koga's down. Spikes really isn't useful, so we're gonna send out Eevee. Eevee should be able to eat up a hit, right Eevee? Oh yeah, my beautiful shiny Eevee girl. She is amazing. Now, what's your other- oh, it's Sylveon in the back. Okay, it's just Sylveon. I won't outspeed. Here comes the thousand arrows. Hopefully I eat that up. Not as well as I would have hoped. I love how, like, the uh, attack goes back to him, though. There we go. Two videos in a row where we took out a Megazord. 
Their team is literally OU or under, except that, which is Uber, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you can't use Power Construct. Here's Mew. No, am I Dynam or Gigantamax? No, wait, what other Pokemon do I have left? Um, I don't know, I gotta go for Dazzling Gleam. Oh, it's actually Giganta or Dynamaxing, not Gigantamaxing. It had a Z move in Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, which set up Psychic Terrain. It was the only move other than Psychic Terrain or Tabu Lele's ability that set it up and. Oh, I had that plugged into the wrong ear. Jesus. Yeah, we're dead. Uh, come on, buddy. No. No. I still got this in the bag. You ready for this? Octavia, time to show him who's boss. And I know Octavia is supposed to be a female, but sadly I don't have a female of this Pokemon, so not much I can do about that. You want to play the Dynamax card? I'll play the Dynamax card. I am Sniper, but I am not Gigantamax. I have like three Gigantamaxes. Just sometimes setting up like water and stuff is better than its ability or than its uh, G Max Hydro Snipe. So it like all depends on what you're using or what you want to use. You don't have to bring a Gigantamax, but this will KO because we're expert belt. I'm so tall, all you can see is my fingers, man. Oh, goodbye, Mew. It was nice knowing you while it lasted. Little pink kitty cats down. And fairy. Very interesting, I guess. 140 base power, set up the rain. We outspeed Sylveon because Sylveon's slow, so here it goes. Snipe. That's exactly why I named it Octavia. I could have named it Strix too, but Strix would fit more of an owl. Could have named it Knessa, but once again, female, so. Not much I could have did there. Oof. Anyways, with the snap of our finger, or point of our finger again. Man, you like to finish off these battles, don't you, buddy? Anyways, here comes the snipe. Oh, yeah. And with that, guys, we beat Piggy King. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Join our Discord, and I will see you guys next time. Stay bright.